Hey guys, Everything Tech Pro here. Today in this video, I'm going to be talking about is iOS 11 GM faster than iOS 10.3.3? Should you upgrade to GM version or should you wait for the official release? That's 19th of September. And this is the iPad Pro 10.5, which is the latest iPad Pro which Apple launched in the year 2017. So it should be fine after upgrading to the iOS 11 GM. As you can see in the update, it is iOS 10.3.3 and it's 256 gigabytes iPad with available 229, which I'm going to take a screenshot right over here to check how much storage it took or how much storage got freed up after upgrading. So I'm going to be doing two tests, the Geekbench test and the Antutu benchmark test. So first of all, the Geekbench test, as you can see, it's running iOS 10.3.3 with four gigabytes of RAM. And I'm going to select the CPU benchmark and I'm going to run it. So it should take some time. So I'll let it finish. Once it's finished, I'll be back. So guys, it's about to be completed. It took about two and a half minutes to reach the end and I hope it will be back soon. So yes, I think two minutes and 35 seconds it is what it took. So guys, as you can see, the single core score of 3874 and a multi-core score of 8629. It's pretty much close to the A11 leaked Geekbench score, which says about 4,000 single core and 9,900 multi-core score. So the A11 is even faster than the A10X as Apple claimed in their event. And you can see the details of uh, all the tests here. It's there. So I'm going to be taking a screenshot of the main screen to compare once the iOS 11's Geekbench will do. So the screenshot. So next up is the Antutu benchmark, which I'll start from here and allow. So here it says iPad Pro 10.5 inch start testing. And as you can see, it has begun. So once it's done, I'll be back. So guys, the Antutu benchmark scores are here. It says a total score of 186,192 and let's go to the detailed report here. It has a 3D score of 76,204, UX score of 54,483, CPU score of 43,857 and a RAM score of 11,648. That's pretty much impressive. A total score of 186,192. So let me increase the brightness to full so that it's better visible, yeah. And now I'm gonna be running the HTML5 test on the Antutu. So let's go back and goes the HTML5 test. So it's gonna run the HTML5 test. And once it's here, I'm gonna click start and they should eventually start. But why is it taking so much time? I, I, I'm not seeing any start test button in the page and it's still loading the page is completely loaded but okay now the test has come so once I do that the page is starting these tests same procedures once these tests are over I'll be back so guys the test is over and it gave me a score of 38,007 so let's take a screenshot of this as well and it's done and now it's all over now what I'm gonna be doing is upgrading to iOS 11 GM and once I upgraded same procedures I'm gonna be running the Geekbench and the Antutu benchmark test and then we'll compare which scores are higher so guys as you can see I have updated to iOS 11 the dock is the evidence that it is running the iOS 11 so now let's go and check this course what did it receive so before updating I had 252 gigabytes of capacity and 229 available and it has become 256 gigabytes which is its maximum capacity and 233 gigabytes which means that I got about 4 gigabytes more after updating to iOS 11 GM and regarding the Geekbench score it was 3874 and 8629 so now after updating I got 3881 so comparing that we have just a slight increase in the single core but the multi-core score has gone up by a good amount which is a plus point here so 
Geekbench scores are great for iOS 11 GM and unto the benchmark the HTML score was 38,007 so which after updating is 38,563 again the HTML5 scores are also good for iOS 11 GM but what I saw something strange here is the unto 2 benchmark score was 186,192 on iOS 10.3.3 .3. but after updating it gone it just reduced to 166,068 I don't know why it showed me less but I hope that this is not a sign that my iPad has slowed down and definitely I can not see any signs that my iPad has slowed down it is as smooth as it was in iOS 10.3.3 .3. and if not I would say that I think it has been more it feels more smoother and fluid now after updating to iOS 11 so that's it guys for this video and before I sign off in this video I'd like to say if you are using the newer iPads you should definitely update to iOS 11 because sooner or later just after a couple of days you're going to be receiving the official update in your settings page and if you want to try it out because the GM is already out you can update it and have fun of iOS 11 and for other users like the previous or older iPad users I would recommend you stick on maybe there's a chance of Apple fixing some bugs if any and I'm not sure whether this one has any bugs or not but I hope this one is final and there are no bugs or anything else to discover in this version so that's it guys I'll see you in the next video until next time it's peace out